We're creative and entertaining. We're always out and filming. We never miss a story. The Braisby family. So get a quarter zip on a mug that you can drink from. We're beautiful, we're handsome. The Braisby family. Good morning, Indian Hill, and welcome to Braves Beat. I'm Eddie McEwen. And I'm Helsa Wenzel. There is a frightening amount of news to cover, so let's get started. Tomorrow night, before the game, come out to the Boosters Pavilion for the chili cook-off. It begins at 6 p.m., and there is a $2 entrance fee for students. If you know anyone else who would like to come, bring them, too. The fee is $15 for all others. You do not want to miss these chilling chilies. The boys and girls cross country teams ran for their lives at districts and it resulted in a first place finish for the boys team and third place for the girls underdog team. They run at Troy tomorrow for a shot at going to state. Good luck cross country. In the Hall of Indian Hills, there has been a lot of supernatural ruckus. Let us see what it is all about. <laughs> oh boy, if you're interested in seeing more of that disturbing material, take a look at our YouTube Shorts playlist on official Brazebeat YouTube page. Attention all students interested in trying out for this year's powwow, Oklahoma. And those who want to try out for the spring musical, you're a good man, Charlie Brown. Auditions are coming this Monday and Tuesday after school. It is eerie how soon that is. If you haven't signed up for the slot yet, do not forget to do so today. Located in the theater bulletin board in the English neighborhood. Many people know at least one person in their life that struggle with chemical dependency. This week during our Double X Block, Gregory Hogg from Talbert House Training spoke to us about the reality of chemical dependence and emphasized the importance of prevention over treatment. His message was certainly well received and very eye-opening. If you know a peer that struggles with an addiction, please have them see a counselor as soon as possible. <laughs> Next Thursday, November 5th, come out and watch the senior girls devour the, no, the junior girls devour the senior girls at our annual Powder Puff football game at the Tomahawk Stadium. There will be a halftime show featuring the infamous boy cheerleaders and a pep rally for your dogman's unbelievable season. There will also be a scarily good after prom big sale and food provided by Corito. You won't want to miss this. T-shirts are being sold next week for the event. Be sure to see Miss Schonauer about purchasing them. In the true spirit of Halloween, let's check out some Martha Stewart quality home decoration tips from MJ and Caitlin with How to Carve a Pumpkin. What's up? I'm Katie. And MJ. And we are here to show you how, How to, to carve, carve a pumpkin. pumpkin. What do you want to do? You're going to want to know your pumpkin. Next. We're going to gut it. it. We're, we're going to kill it. We're gonna, yep, we just got to know it. Yep. <laughs> oh, and now there we go. Look at that inside. Get them, uh, them round eyes. We're just going <laughs> to. You got to get in there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't know why you did that. Happy Halloween. That's our pumpkin. I'm done. Your house will be the hottest spot on the block with a jack-o'-lantern like that. <coughs> Thank you, guys. 
Before we go, we'd like to wish everyone a spooky Halloween. <laughs> Don't forget to like our Braze New Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Also, make sure to come out to your Braves football and band senior night. Have a terrifying weekend, Braves. And as always, stay, stay creepy. Stay creepy, Indian Hill. 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 Ah! What are you doing? What are you, what are you gonna be for Halloween? A deer. In the headlights? What are you going to be for Halloween? I'm not going to be anything. I'm passing out candy. I have a house now. What, what are you going to be for Halloween? With me. Hey, Mr. Duff, Pat, what are you going to be for Halloween? What are you going to be for Halloween? Me. Principal? Me. Me? Me. What are you going to be for Halloween? Uh, I'm going to be a minion. <laughs> What do you mean for Halloween? Um, I don't know. Huh? What are you gonna be? How, how about how about Batman? What are you two lovebirds gonna be on Halloween? Uh, uh, peanut butter. Oh yeah.